showdown between Alexander Volkanovsky and Du Ho Choi. So here he is, the number one featherweight contender for a long time. This man believed he was the number one 145 pound fighter on the world. He's called out the champion for a long time. Now he's got the winning streak, the finishes to position himself for the title shot. We will see what he can do with it. Is taller. Volkanovski will have a one inch reach advantage. We set it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, presenting the challenger, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great Volkanovski. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well on that they have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Yeah. 
I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Nice leg kick lands. Nice one, two there. Lands a big right hand early. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. There, huge block. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big kick land. And they separate. Ooh, head kick lands to hurt. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. Strike there by Volkanovski. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Big kick lands. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, man, look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. Punches block. And he landed the right hand there. Big leg kick lands. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice strike. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Well, the champ Okanovsky continues to keep his opponent guessing here tonight. You lower the guard and he goes upstairs and was able to land the right hand there. Landed that beautiful right hand. But if you start thinking leg kick, if you start thinking right hand, Alexander Volkanovski will change levels, explode into you. And when he gets his hands locked, you're going for a ride. This guy's a full on mixed martial arts fighter. Nice punch, man. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab is nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Lambs with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shin guards. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. What finish this fight? Oh! He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Seconds to go. Lanza glancing right hand upstairs. And there comes the separation now. Round two next. Puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory.
right, let's get to round two. He loaded up there on that high kick. Hook shot lands. Superboy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Beautiful kick. Choi's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just misses with the right. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He is getting lit up right now, John. Oh, straight right. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Head kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Left hand punch with the clinch. Look at that leg. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Doing it here, nice punch. He loaded up on that right hand too. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by the Korean Super Bowl. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman, just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Choi. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do any arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon him in the mat or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defense. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, nice jab. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Oh, nice right hand. Back to the feet. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, only able to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Under a minute now to go. Choi's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space for the combination. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Chor. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Solid strike on the ground. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Chor. And that's the end of round number two.
damage. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, nice punch there by Volkanovski. Head kick there, blocked by Choi. Throws the right hand there. Missed with that attempt. There. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish line because he's got it over her very bad. Oh, he might be out. Volkanovski gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. That's a nice strike. Big knee lands right to his opponent's midsection. Checks that leg kick. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Man. more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. He needs to try to get to a half guard at least. At minimum, try to go to half guard. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do next. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Volkanovski's pass is denied. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Let's go, we gotta scramble here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Back to the feet now. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and less than he did in previous rounds. Effective strike there by Choi. Another shot lands upstairs. Every time he 
these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. So a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Straight punch lands. Looping left hand misses the target. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Keep going again. Do it again. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, nice right hand. And they separate. He's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Big kick. He left behind You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Looking for that left hand, not there. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Great punch landing with so much power. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Nice right hand. Oh, huge kick to the body. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, big left. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Ooh, what a punch. Upstairs. Back to the feet. Well, that Whoa! He's out. Oh, my goodness. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. 
finally he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, here now. Ladies and gentlemen, with the official Levin has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 18 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Hu Chong. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. That's going to be some after party tonight. Caution, flammable. Congrats <laughs> to the new UFC featherweight king. When you win that first belt, the after party is always fun. This guy and his family and friends are in for a great time tonight.